Chad, Renee, welcome back guys. We had a wonderful time with you last year with the Busbys. Obviously Ed and I enjoyed our trip with you and hunting all over the East Cape and this year you brought your boys back, eh? Tyler, good to have you, mate. Yeah, it's, I've been looking forward to it. It's gonna be a great time. We've been, we've been planning this out for a, a good year and so we're really excited to, to do our first uh, hunting trip together as a family in South Africa. Incredible. We're gonna hunt the South here, we're gonna hunt our Northern areas and let's get going. Good week ahead of us. This afternoon out and the guns have behaved beautifully at the range. The guys have shot nicely. Mom and Dad have shot nicely. And Diana and Chad have headed up onto the plains with Ed and myself, Renee, and we, Dylan, we've kind of come down into the bush and we're working our way to the bottom towards the river and these open banks and plains and see what we can bump into. It's a beautiful first afternoon. Sun's out, gains out, and see what we can get onto. He's the one that's facing you, eh? Okay, in the middle of the chest. Great shot. <laughs> well done. Hey, you've still got it, eh? Last year to this year. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Come on. Yo, that's the way we start. Very, very nice. I'm just going to clear this gun, eh? Yeah, that was perfect. He is spectacular. What you actually find with a blessed buck, the Dutch folks, they call this, the, the first settlers who came here were Dutch, obviously, and the blessed buck is because of the, the bless. A bless is bull, and they said it was the bull's buck. That's the bless on the front of the forehead. And they have these scent glands that obviously make their faces yellow like that over time. Um, but a great, great ram, and I asked you to hit him dead center of the chest, and you did exactly that, right through the heart. So, Congratulations, my dear. Good start. Um, very nice to be back out on safari with you. And if that's the way we start, it's going to be a great week ahead of us. I'm ready. Brilliant. So yesterday was finished off with a call and, and Renee finished off with a bless back and now we've decided for buffalo. We saw those younger bulls earlier this morning. Um, one not quite right, but so we'll uh, Sim came out scouting for us and found two bulls and when I got to him I saw another three. And those are the three that we're gonna go and try on the top here. We just gotta get up the hill a bit and then get the the wind right and we'll cut back into that brush and see if we can get close to if there's one that's nice here. Yeah, you can see they've been all through here, yeah, these buffalo here, yeah, their tracks are. So as they 
still the eight. They just turn the scattered bush on top of us. We're going to just go to the left here and walk around and see if we can get a shot. He said there's one they can see clearly now. First shot, nice and low, try and break a shoulder and get rid of the sticks, load again and get ready to go again. Just make sure we're on the same bull, second one. Okay, let's, put a, let's put a round in these rifles and just put... Remember that one's a backwards safety, so safety forward here, pull back to fire. Mind that's another bull, that one. Bit going, he's I think he's going down your one. I can see a thing thrashing around there. Yeah, good. Listen. When I saw from the top, I, you know, they, they all look like good bulls. Um, but I, I thought if we can get this one, I could see he had that big hump on his back. Check that these others have buggered off. <laughs> well then, that's one hell of a buffalo, let me tell you, my man. Yes, sir. This is clear these these rifles, yeah. But he's got these nice hamburger patties that you get on the top here. Yeah? Big old neck and a nice short muzzle with this dewlap underneath it. It's all you want in a buffalo, but. We saw a couple this morning, he was with two other bulls. Unfortunately, I think of the three that were here, he was probably the better of the three, so we were lucky. We would have shot anyone that we saw, but this is a brute, let me tell you. Well done again, man, put it there. Thank you. Well, Renee, Tyler, we've obviously had an incredible morning. Your dad got a pretty awesome um, Cape Buffalo. And while we enjoyed good hunting for games back down on the plains over the river, this afternoon the winds up, storms blowing in, nothing perfect right now, but we've spotted a nice black impala, we'll give it a go. Uh, but really not good conditions for what we're after, but after the morning we had, anything from here will be a bonus as the afternoon sees itself out. But let's give it a go and see what we can find.
dislike them to feed into the valley a little bit because that'll mean so I'll actually come closer the way they're coming around the side of the contour. That's better. Pull it over. It has to be so higher. So. Just wait for me. Right. On the shoulder. Perfect. Great shot. Perfect shot. He's done. He's done. He's gonna be done, I promise you. He's done. He doesn't believe it. And he's down. <laughs> yes! You can shoot, eh? Damn! <laughs> very, very good, eh? The setup works beautifully, and if we're patient, right. let them come to where we want them, it works. Brilliant! For a really, really tough afternoon after a glorious morning, we have really done well. So, Renee, you can see here, it's the most incredible little flower. It's a little succulent we have here, and this time of year, traditionally, you will not have any flowers, but as you can see, stormy conditions, it kind of sums up our season. It's winter with us now, different to when you can the first time in summer, and it is incredibly wet. And for us to still see this during the month of June is very strange. So these flowers, they literally think it's still summer, which for us is a strange, strange phenomenon, but obviously very good for the vegetation. And these little guys live on these banks because the gravel's warm. So it holds them the warmth longer and obviously with an extended moisture period, really nice to see these guys doing well. Renee, as you can see, blood everywhere coming down to your beautiful black impala. I mean one, you gotta appreciate an animal like this. It's just spectacular in every way. I mean he's got the flare. He's got mass going up and just a like great, great impala and a beautiful black impala. So, that was awesome. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hell of a shot uh, once again. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Congrats, my dear, for one of the most beautiful we have out here, I believe. The black impala is incredible. Beautiful ram. Carry that for you. Give me this one, Ropsy. So, oh, you got one in. Put one in. What you're going to see is it's is its little is its head in the grass there. So you just I'll put out the sticks. You just come up. You just, you just don't even get full power. Otherwise, you you, you battle to pick it up. In the uh, 40 yards. Got him. Another one, there's another one, there's another one. There's another one, another one, load again, load again. Shoot, pick it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Shoot it, shoot. It's hit. Come again, come again, come again. That's another, another one. Shoot that one too. There's three cats. Let's go see what we got. Okay, so we're still looking for Val Rebeck, although we've come across this nice a nice big warthog here, so it's about 500 yards, if we can get to say 200 from him, maybe get you prone, it will be great. Bit of a slip right to, right crosswind. If we can lie down, pull up bag, Ropsy. and steady uh, out the wind. Let me, okay, so let me tell you where he is. So he's the one, there are two there. There's one that's got white teeth, white tusks. Just to your, he's walking to your right. Yes, coming down, you can see he's got big teeth. Okay, zoom in on him. 
I'll, I'll adjust the range for us. I don't know where he's going. You've got quite a good bead on him. But when you really squeeze one off into his shoulder there. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what we got. Ropsia, are you going to fetch the car? Okay, <laughs> well done. That's a monster pig. Yeah, it was like straight on. I, I thought, uh, are we going to worry about one? I thought, nah. Let's just go like it is. This is as big as they get. Anyway, put it there, my man. What a shot. That is superb. Get his skin and bones, this thing. He got nothing left on it. A very good one. Perfect shot in, out there. His warts are shrinking, he's so old. But never mind, that's what we got. And we're still looking for Val Reedback. He's doing well today, man. But not a lot more. No. Still walking left. It stops. You got him? Front of his chest. Yeah. On. Yeah. Put it there, man. That's freaking fantastic. <laughs> you know what the chances of this were happening, dude? I'm telling you, like nothing. Three links, a warthog. <laughs> and a war <laughs> It's not even noon yet, man. <laughs> Ropsy's come down from the mountain with the Vardy. Um, you can see that different kind of an animal. This has got a fur like a jackrabbit because they live at this high altitude. It's got this big bunny nose. If you have a look how pronounced it is, and these big eyes, long ears, these incredibly sharp, sharp horns. They are territorial, so that is our only sort of bet as you know where to look. Um, I don't know if anyone had seen this one. I think we did pretty well. We found him around the corner here in the wind. Uh, made an excellent shot top of a great morning of hunting. Put it there my man, it's very well done. No sleeping in the car on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, come down. 
there's a really the way down okay. there's a rounded rock yeah he's he's not we're gonna get what 600 we've arrived nice and early into our good area this morning we've spotted some bushwhack across the way and Ropsy and David looked behind us and spotted a beautiful crew bull back there with some cows. Renee, so what we're going to do is load up gear. We're going to hit down, back down this road. And we're going to work our way around this ridge. And hoping as the sun hits and they'll feed down, we'll get a shot across the way again. But we're going to we're going to hit now, just get our gear and go. One more bullet, please. Thanks, you. him there. Hit him. Hit. Hit. I see his head. Now she hit him perfect. He's done Renee. You can see him Renee? Yeah. You should you should see him in the bottom of your scope. He's going to go over there now. Good job. <laughs> so oh. bloody proud of you. Oh. I tell you what, you have done that. To sit here patiently waiting and yes, to have Chan along, in along with us. We've got G on the camera. I promise you, you've hit that ball in the lanes. He is going nowhere. And that is incredible good. Incredible, incredible good. You never want to stay over, I can promise you. No idea how much I back you. At any this, I'll back you. I've seen you shoot so beautifully. You just get so calm before you shoot. It's very, very good. So by theory guys, it's up on this slope to the right of those white tall trees there, those euphorbias. It's always incredible when you see somebody walk up to their first good of bull. The anticipation we've come up from the bottom and the anticipation is like incredible and the closer Renee gets the more anxious she gets. She's gonna love what she sees. Come have a look what we got. He is just a beautiful bull, big Roman nose, you can see the mud in the horns and I tell you he played hard to get all morning but uh, really really nice Renee. Chuffed, chuffed, chuffed you. You pulled off a tough shot, he didn't go 30 yards and you have yourself a beautiful kudu, eh? really really nice. So, congrats Thank you. my dear. Yeah, beautiful beautiful bull. Well, that we come up the hill without one blackjack and you found them all. <laughs> hey? I don't know. The things of we have to I do. Would. The things we have to do. <laughs> oh, luckily, they passed now. Earlier in the season, they'd be much worse.
You want to use some syrup? Well, we've uh, come to an area this morning, we're hunting a variety of species and the beauty about hunting together in the same area, Chad and Dylan and Ed in the other truck have spotted a beautiful kudu bull for Tyler. Tyler's been on the short end of luck on kudu, so we're hoping that can change now. It's still nice and early, we've just got into the hunting area and we've spotted this bull, so holding thumbs we can get on it. I'm so nervous after I missed it. Just wait. Oh. I just want to tell the guys that we've done well. So they can go. Let, well, I want to tell your dad. I think he'll be very, very happy to. This is a beautiful kudu bull, my man. And what a great shot. My friend, this is big. This is incredible. Renee, I think Tyler stole your bull. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Yeah, that's awesome. This is just incredible. He's sliding down now, but this is just a, this is a bull of dreams. Eh? Absolute awesome. bull of dreams. That's awesome. One, one could not imagine I could have bull like this this morning when we left camp at first light. Yeah. Well, I know it's been tough the last couple of days for sure to find one. So thank you all for sticking with me and Dude. helping us. We're a team. We get it yeah. done together. Cheers, Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Thanks a yeah. million. So now we've just seen some zebra and uh, a red hartebeest. So we're going to walk down there and see if we can scope it out, see how far they are. Earlier this season, we had a lightning strike up here. This time of the year, traditionally, it's not as green as it is, but we've had so much rain this year. And with the lightning strike coming early, the game is flocked up top here for the new growth. Feel it! Mood! Yeah, the track is just confirmed. Okay. Exactly. He's also, he was watching, there were four zebra, now there's only three. And he, he thought he'd give his two seconds from the back. There are only three! That's to be dead. So, good hey, shot, dude! Great place to eat lunch! Great place! We have lunch and the zebra walks out. You could clear the gun, mate. That was Take great. it up the barrel, but... Well, it wouldn't take Flash much to find your zebra out in the open plain. Beautiful, beautiful zebra and what a perfect shot. I tell you, we sat, had lunch and I would not have 
ever imagine that straight after lunch, a big old zebra stallion walks up, and right there, we, right there. I mean, we, we literally did not have to go 50 yards. They didn't, I don't know how they didn't wind us. I think they saw us and just kept coming, and you made a wonderful shot, but I mean, Thank it was you. 220 yards, and uh, the gunwork system worked beautifully. It was bright enough to see, I'll tell you that, these zebras. <laughs> and you told me you might have got a, bit, a little bit excited after lunch, you might have yanked it. I, I think you did plenty good, Yeah, Potter. right. Plenty good. So yeah, congrats, dude. Nice zebra. A view for days. Yeah. Couldn't be a better setting. Let's, Thank you. Let's get him cleaned up, get some nice pictures, and get him back to the skinning shed. This bull looks like he's watching the, the other giraffe, so we can be able to get around on the wind side of him that way. Looks like a really, a really old bull um, that's almost been kicked out the herd because he's watching the, the rest of them. So we can just get the wind on the right side. We should be in good shape here. And there are lots of bulls here, so we need to thin out the herd a bit too. About as quick as I've seen the giraffe go down. Well done, dude. I don't think this other one's too busy in the fight yet. Okay, go. There we go. Push it over now. So there was only one winner in this fight this morning. It was you. Well done, man. Well done. This is. Certainly the heaviest animal of the trip. Yeah. Good day, man. Well done. Thanks for coming along, Chad. Yeah, that was awesome. Very nice. Wow. Oh, it's huge. Good job, Dylan. You don't get... I think this was a little low. Did it come straight down? Huh? Did it come straight down? Just find one bun. Was that fight not amazing? I've never seen a giraffe out. Hopefully we got it good. Like
Dylan's obviously taken this beautiful giraffe this morning and the importance of hunting giraffe and the sustainability of the greater popular population is so dependent on guys like Dylan and the beauty of what's happening here right now is every last inch and scrap of meat is utilized. So we're going to skin out in the field here today, skin's going to come off and then we're going to start dissecting the meat and start loading that onto a tractor we will get it to a meat locker but it's a big operation out here nothing is wasted and um, the protein will be used as much as the hide and the memory of that a pretty cool morning and beautiful giraffe All good for the other side shoulder. You is it? Okay, again. Let's just go. I'll speak to my man Ace. You know, Hassel, I'm telling you, I could see blood. I don't know, I couldn't see if it was from him running or if it was coming out of his nose, which means you've got lungs or something, but. There's more, yeah. Well done Tyler, this is an awesome harder beast. Nice shot off the sticks after a good stalk. Um, what's very, very interesting about this guy is all the white hair here in the black here. So they normally only black there, but he's got this incredible white tinge to it there. Like a grey person, no, no one here is grey yet. But uh, he's going grey, so that's how old he is. But that is a real fine trophy, very nice harder beast. And particularly nice is the white on the forehead there. So he'll be good for you one day on your wall. Well done. Yeah, thank you. I'm, well done. I'm glad you've got my last animal and really thankful that my parents brought me on this trip. Yeah. Perfect. That's awesome, man. While you guys are having your dinner, I just want to, before folks disappear to bed, um, when you hunt at Cape Buffalo here with us at Woodland, it's obviously a special thing for us having out on safari. But both of you are incredible experiences. I know, Joe, you got your bull under 40 yards, you got your bull at 12 yards, and that's off to both Ed and Greg for fantastic experiences and getting in close and in the spirit of what a Cape Buffalo should be. So, with that, we have a little gift, a little something that we'd like you to take home. It's something you can only get by hunting a cat buffalo yet. It's the John X Dugger Boy Club. So, Gregor, yeah. for Marlon, Edo, Chad, and congrats, guys. <coughs> welcome to the club. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Welcome. Cheers. Welcome. 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 Chance is bigger than mine. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
you see how long it, it took for the sound to come back on there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, doll, I actually went, my last one was like 5.30, so I did bring one back from 5.50. Holy smoly. That's about as pretty as they get. He's got the red legs there, that's where he's from like um when they when they like rut they get the red legs, he's got the red beak. He's good man. One one hell of a shot, put it there. I can't believe it still. So their brain's the size of their eye apparently. Look how big those eyes are, that's what they can see so far. Just those games back, if they walk through, I think he'll settle down again and stay there. Get behind those trees there. Wind from the right, we should be okay. I don't know if you want to, just, we're not going to find a place to get prone here anytime soon. Perfect again? Yep. Hit him. Looks like a good hit. One yeah. hell of a shot, man. Maybe a little high. <laughs> yeah, one hell of a <laughs> shot. I don't know. Don't really worry what it is. Jeepers. Fantastic. What did you say, Dill, before? Nine o'clock. We're going to be done. <laughs> well done, Chad. That's a great shot, man. Let's walk on over there. That was more impressive because it was off the sticks. Your dad's more impressive than you, Dill. <laughs> Let's go have a look at him. And then he sort of, I just saw his one leg start going gung gung. But they puff themselves up and they actually make themselves look quite big, but there's just nothing on them, no meat to them. But they eat insects and bugs and that, so we pardon them. There he is, beautiful. Lovely old sesame bull. Um, he's got a old bump on the nose there. See, he's rock hard to the point. Horns, nice thick neck. Uh, Fosters antelope that we have. So nice to see them lying down and not running away. But hell of an animal. Well done. What a shot. What a shot. We've enjoyed incredible experiences in the north and the south and it's, it, it's been amazing um, Renee seeing you and, and how much you've come from last year on that kudu hunt in particular it was very very impressive and Chad that Cape Buffalo hunt at 40 yards I mean wish I was there Edward keeps telling us about it every evening and I know Dada we had our nemesis with a kudu but when, when you needed to make it count I know why you missed before Yeah. because you wanted the biggest bull of all and, and Dill, I know you've just, that, that day in the mountains, three caracal, a var buck of note and an 
incredible war dog. I know that was a, a big day all round. So yeah, as the sun sets on our safari, I think it was really good fun for Roxy, Dave, myself and Ed, and we look forward to having you guys back again in the future. Final words from Dylan. Just try this, see if we get anything out of him. Come on, Dylan. Come on. It, <laughs> you see, I told you this you is the restart. Guy. Come on, Renee. Had a wonderful time, and I'm grateful that I got to spend this time with my kids. And I just love coming to Africa. Now we really hope Chad doesn't jump and talk to us. Chad, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I already said my part. Say awesome. It again. Awesome. Awesome. Robsy. 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 Did you Robsy. have a good safari? I don't do. <laughs> David! <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. Edward. Nice to meet Renee and Chad's boys. We had a great time. It does take, again. It, it takes a true pH yeah, yeah. to find three caracals in one in one run. Yeah. Uh, I'm 28. I'm still single. And <laughs> I have a great credit score. <laughs> and you can find me on Instagram. Thanks to G for the Great, great, best yeah. day ever.